Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday. It is, I don't know, it's not early. 12.14. 12.14. Welcome to today. Sam, you guys, I discovered the secret to men. Honestly, I did. I discovered the secret to men. I'm going to share it with you guys. I know Sam's going to see this and think that sucks that I discovered the secret to men. So I don't know what kind of man you have in your life, but my experience with men is that they're different than women. I asked Sam to help me make a fun area for our goats. So he did. And he buried some tires in there. Buried some tires in the ground. And buried them deep enough and then they fell over. So I've been waiting for him to fix them. I've asked him to fix them. And he doesn't, which is also a man trait. So today I said I was going to ask my friend to do it. A man that I know that's done it before and has done it well so that the tires haven't fallen over. And he didn't say anything. And then poof, down here today he's fixing the tires. I figured it out, you guys. Come here, little piggy piggy. Come here, oh, you are so. Are you loving your pool? Come here. Come here. I need to put this on you. It's sunscreen. I might need help with him. Come here, I want to put sunscreen on you. Look. Come here, baby. I just need to put it on you. So, Snickers, I'm calling him Snickers now. I noticed last night that his ears are a little sunburned. So, I'm trying to put some sunscreen on his ears. I think I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need somebody to hold him down. It's crazy to me though that all the gentle creatures on our farm have found the gentle creatures on our farm. Like our pigs are so gentle and sweet. And then this chicken does not like anything the opposite of sweet. So she stays with the boy, the boy goats and the boy pigs. I gotta put this on your ears. <laughs> but now I'm holding the camera and I got crap all over me. Ha ha ha, good boy. It'll feel good. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, he wants me to rub him. All right. I'll rub you. All right. Come here. Yes. Just rub it all off of me. I just want to make sure that he's got... Don't bite my leg, little goat. <laughs> Stop. I've got goats biting me. Yeah, that's a good boy. See, he's got little scabs there. I just want to make sure that he doesn't get too sore. Yeah. All right. There we go. You want to rub on your belly? Do you want to rub on your big fat belly? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me rub your belly. <laughs> yep. So many people told me pigs are mean. This is a mean. Oh, this goat is literally pushing me over. Mean pig. Pigs are honestly the most loving creatures I've ever met. I would buy me a pig over again. This butt looks like it's getting a little burnt too, actually. Do you like it here, Snickers? So this morning I put fresh water in his pool and there's a hole in this pool so I can only fill it so deep. But I think he's okay with that because he, has been swimming in there. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for the boy goats. Oh, that's Ellie here. Because, come on, Alice, I'm going out. Come on, we'll help Dad. I, find, I kind of feel bad for the goats because, the boy goats, because they don't have, like, they can't escape. The girls are gone. They're always up at the horse field. They're out browsing, which is their favorite thing to do. And then the boy goats are just stuck in their pen. Granted, their pens are not too small, like the boys, there's three of them over there. They only have this big area and I don't know, I feel bad for them. Sam wants to cut all this grass down, but I feel like it's a travesty to cut food, to destroy food that we can feed our horses. Our horses are eating that field down right now and then after we're just going to open this gate and they're going to come in here and eat all this down. And by then it should be August 1st. And then they'll go in the last field. 
Got Ellie here with me. So many people told me not to get a pig. Like so many. So many people said like pigs are awful, they're mean, they ruin your land. If you don't give them enough stuff to play with, they'll get destructive. Like people told me so many negative things about pigs. Um we still got pigs and I love them. They fit us. And sometimes I think like when we give advice to people, including me, we think about the reasons that we wouldn't want a pig or we wouldn't want a Yorkie. So many people said, don't get a Yorkie. So many people said, don't get a Border Collie. And there's all these reasons that they give you. Wait, <laughs> I don't want to sit next to you. You will break this thing. <laughs> I know. Sam and I sitting on the bridge in the goat field. Not a single goat to be found. <laughs> It's not high enough? No, the, the weeds are higher than the bridge. <laughs> I know. You were trying to get Gracie to come down here yeah, and eat stuff? She was looking for me, but she didn't look down here. So she probably went to the barn. Anyway, Gracie was down here by herself? Like She was up there and uh, I tried calling her. Well, anyway, the whole point of me posting all these things about people telling us not to get certain things and then, and then those things turning out to be like the biggest blessings in our lives. Like I wouldn't trade Ellie for anything and a lot of people were concerned because they can be possessive they can be protective and she is all those but only in the best of ways like i am so obsessed with her my pigs i tell you guys all the time like obsessed i enjoy my goats so much nobody said don't get goats though even though goats are probably the hardest animal on our farm if you had to say which one of our animals is the hardest to take care of which one would you say I mean, he doesn't take care of the goats, so he wouldn't know. I think horses are the hardest to take care really? of. Really? Why? Because you can't just leave them out there and do whatever you want. You can't leave goats either. You have to watch them all the time. Yeah. Well, goats, you don't have to watch as much. You don't think so? Goats are the worst. They escape. They escape, but horses, you have to make sure they're not eating too much. And yeah, that's true. They don't founder, and then you got to, it's too much work. Yeah, it's a lot. So do you think, they're probably the most expensive, but do you think that these will stand up now? I don't know. I think, did you bury them more? Yeah, I buried them more. I feel like they have to be buried halfway. Well, we'll see. Anyways, I just wanted to say that even though people, including myself, like to give advice to help people make knowledgeable choices, like we just want to help each other. Sometimes it feels like when we give negative advice that we're giving negative advice based on what we would like, our own experiences and our own wishes and desires. And we're not able, it's really difficult to give advice to people unless you've walked in their shoes and you know who they are inside and you know what they would like. And I like a Yorkie and I love a Border Collie. Which of our animals do you connect with the least? The least? Mm -hmm. Like which one do you find that you wouldn't have got if, if you... Which one would you not have gotten if you had known better? Uh, it would be Daisy, only because she's deaf. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, if she wasn't deaf, she might be all right. Yeah. It's just hard to work with. Yeah. So, if I answered the same question, if I didn't get any of our animals, if I knew what I knew now, which animal would I choose not to get? It'd be Daisy. Isn't that funny? Because she's the sweetest. She cuddles me. She lays with me. She's so well behaved. She steals everything that, that's not nailed down and she takes it in her crate and saves it there for when she goes to bed. She sleeps in her crate and she goes in there. It's her safe place. She stores it with everything that she wants. She steals everything, but that's just a dog thing. That doesn't bother me. But there's a disconnect because of the deaf. And I see so many people be like, deaf dogs are exactly the same. They are not exactly the same. Deaf people are not exactly the same. It's a disability. It's a hardship. It's a something that causes a disconnect between you and other people. And it's hard. It is really hard, even though she's amazing and I love her and I would never get rid of her. It's definitely the it death is hard. Comment below if you've ever had an animal that you've found hard after you've committed to it, after you've bought it, after you've trained it up, and after you've learned to love it. What? <laughs> what do you want, little guy? I think he wants to come with us. You want me to rub your belly? Come here, I'll rub your belly. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. I love you. He's soaked. My sister says he doesn't swim, but yeah, he swims. 
<laughs> well, they're not getting a mud pit. Get it, they're getting pools. Hey, stop chasing my dog. I just told Sam that I love our pigs. And he said, there's two for free right now. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want more pigs. Two I, pot pigs are free. I love pot belly better than American Mini, but yeah, they're the same. Yeah, I hate pink pigs because they get so sunburned. I'm getting, I don't know what this is. It's either a pumpkin or a zucchini. It looks like a zucchini, doesn't it? They're pumpkin. Oh, you think so? Yeah, that's where you planted the pumpkin. I can't remember. Anyway, I got those some. Those look like. Those are zucchini right up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, see the difference in the leaves? Those are zucchini. Those are pumpkins. So those don't three are pumpkins. Well, this one here is a melon. And yeah, probably that one down there, the little one is a melon. And this is probably another pumpkin. I don't know how this zucchini got here, but he's up here in the middle. I've been carrying around a little pail with me and weeding each day. Weeding a little each day. What are those? What? That there. Those are supposed to be beans. They don't I. Look like beans. They don't look like beans. They look like squash of some kind. Yeah. But they came out of a bean package, like for sure. See the leaves? Yeah, it looks like zucchini. Those are the bean, beans would look more like I know, but I did not plant zucchini here. Like there's beans there for sure. I know. Beans yeah, plant. these are beans right here too. Like look at all these. Yeah, those are beans. Oh, I these can't even get in here. Get some peas in I know, I can get some peas. That's why I came to show them. You're distracting me. How am I going to get them though? I can't get in there. You got to reach yeah, your hands over. Made these wider. Yeah. Oh, lots of peas. Like, look, these are, this pea is ready. I know, there's a bunch of peas that are ready. It's like literally they were not there. If you eat my very first pea, I'll be yeah. so sad. It's gone. All right. You can even collect them like that and like snow peas. I know. Look, yeah. Yeah, they look really good. Do you like mm. peas? I like peas, but they mm. hurt my throat a bit, so I might be allergic, allergic to them. Allergic, yeah. So right. I can't eat too many of these. Well, anyways, I got a lot of beans down there. I got a lot of peas up here, but these are supposed to be beans. I didn't mix up my seeds. I think maybe I bought them. I got them from Walmart, the seeds. And I think that they were mispackaged. If you guys look over here, this is what it's like being out on our farm. Can you guys see it? All the goats are... Wait, I'll go see. Everywhere we go on the farm, they hear us. And we're always being like they're always chasing us down my pig both pigs always want me to come to them and then some of our goats are always like asking for me so all the go all the goats are over here this is where they lay in the morning but as sam and i were in the garden that little starla i call her starla she was just standing there watching us she was like come to me she is such a cute baby uh oh ellie come on at least like, I'll just chase them. Anyway, we left the horses out last night for the whole night. Everything went well. There's poop. They must have been standing in here. Uh, Penny, Sam was watching the cameras all night. Uh, Penny slept out here. Storm slept in Penny's area. Hi, Blossom. Now you're stuck. The goats have actually been uh, browsing all over the property. But look at, look at Lola. Isn't her hair so nice? All the rest of our goats have like awful hair. They have like thick hair or longer hair. But Lola is nice and her hair is nice and thin. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, run. Run, come on. I'm going, come on, let's go. Come on, you can run faster than them. Come on. I'm gonna have to go rescue. She wants those grapes. Oh. She did it! Do you guys remember I bought those flowers from a yard sale yesterday? This is what I ended up doing. I didn't glue it down or wire it down. I just set everything in there. But I just wanted to like put up this cute little wreath. Do you guys remember when we made these wreaths out of the grapevine that is covering that shelter? It's Sunday. It's a perfect day to ride. And Sophie came and said, go tag up your horse. We're going for a ride. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. What did I say? You said where? And I said on the road. And you're like, I'm not going on the road. Yeah, I said where? And she said on the road. And I said, no, let's go on the trail. If you go on the trail, I'll ride my horse. I don't not like riding my horse on the road. Well, you loves riding on the road. That's what she's used to. Yep, it's what she's used to. And Gabby didn't want to go? Nope. All right, what's the plan, Soph? To ride on the road. Go for a ride on the road. How far are you going? All the way around. 
all the way around? You want me to follow you in the car? No. I can, well, like, drive far back. I have a phone, you know. I could just call you. All right. I doubt you'll need me, though. I was considering ponying, honey. Oh my gosh. But I believe in ponying. I think that'd be so fun. Except for not that horse, not that baby. I would start throwing fits and start biting lady. Yeah. And then start pinning her ears. Yeah. What uh, honey, she's, four, she's like a demon. Honey is a demon. She's not like bad. She's behaved for the farrier. She's behaved for us. She's just annoying to the other horses. She's just, she's a bit of a brat. All right, we're ready. So he's gonna take this girl down the road. You got the stool? She's she's so like different now that she's 14. She's only 14, you guys. No, I'm 25. <laughs> she likes to be. She likes to think she's 25. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way. She's never done this before on her own, and I know she, her horse is good, but oh, man, like, I don't know. You're probably thinking, you should have went with her, Laura, but I said I'd go down the trail with her. I'm not a road rider. Oh my gosh. I tried to tell him to slow down. Uh oh, she's turning around. She's just turning around to show her the car. Good job, Sophie! That was terrifying. Um, see, I'm letting my nerves get the best of me. But just so you guys know, I told Sophie only encouraging positive things. I did not act like I didn't think she could do it. I do think she could do it and I didn't tell her any of my fears. I'm just telling you my fears because I gotta get it out. But she, look at that, she had a car come. Her horse is still nailing it. That horse man is worth a million bucks. Isn't that a nice horse? Yeah. She's such a nice horse. She's going around the bend. You think she's gonna go far? We offered to drive slowly behind her and she said no. And this is good for her. It's only good for her. She's on a trusted, beloved horse. Everything's gonna be fine. And I'm so proud of her that Gabby's in there being lazy, not doing anything. I'm out here refusing to ride on the road. And Sophie's out there actually riding on the road. 22 minutes and my girl is on the way back. Standing on my feet, I'm She's trotting. No, I She's trotting. Stop. It is my how was she? Look at how heavy she is on her feet. She didn't go all the way around, but... You look good. She looks good. She's sweaty, and we didn't even trot the whole night. No, did you try it a lot? Only a little bit of, like, hills and stuff, because she likes to go back. Yeah, are you going up that hill? Okay, wait till I get up there. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of you, Sophie. Lady really enjoyed that. Lady really enjoyed that. It was amazing. I loved it, too. I love the clippy-clop-clop of her little feet and all right her giant home, feet she was like okay i'm trying yeah and you know what's weird and you know what's weird is that when penny and lady left the horses went wild they were like we had to put willow in her stall we had to like they were wild just lady went by herself and they're like yeah we're good so well, clear gracie called, out to her. gracie called out to her yeah but still like penny leaves and everybody's like in a tizzy but lady leaves so i guess they're not totally like bonded completely yet even though Penny loves her but Penny is not one to like freak out over a horse leaving now they're all here now they're all calling out to her I am on my way up. I won't slow down yeah I am on my way up. I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my